this year you really could see that nature is changing. The whole storm systems, they came over from the south side. Snow conditions were super bad in Alberg. So we decided to head straight for Italy, which had uh, already a good snowfall. So it kind of turned into this, uh, let's do an Italy section instead of the classic Alberg, which is kind of a safer bet. But um, it was for sure fun to uh, explore Italy more. That little song we found in Araba, just right off the ski lift. There was this one, like it didn't really look much of a jump, but it, like you could see it already that it was, it could be like a gap, like a high speed gap. Which is like, I've never really done gaps like that, but I, it was like kind of the biggest feature in that area. Already at the speed checks I could see, oh man, <laughs> it was Mark. Three. Could hear his jacket. <laughs> yeah, and made it first try. Cool. good every morning but it was still wet you know like plus five and it snowed a meter so like it was hard dangerous conditions when Elias came back from Himalaya it was full of energy and he hadn't done one jump the whole year and he was so stoked on Albag because he was there like one day and it looked all right. I didn't have anything better to do because I was kind of getting, not like done with the Alps, but I've spent, I already spent two months, you know, really chasing stuff and it didn't really work out. So I decided to go with Elias. We look for the same stuff, especially in jumps. Like if we're gonna make a jump, it has to be a good one. Conditions were tricky. Um, snow was really compact and wasn't the kind of like, do anything you want, Snow. It was more like, think exactly about what you do, Snow. Every time we went up on the mountain, we did something. I was not sure if it's gonna make it into the movie, but we tried our best to have fun.